I would like to go this way, please. I would like a vowel. <laughs> I don't know why, he just seems like that guy who goes over and goes boom and hits like the number. Better than anything you can get without a prescription. <sighs> just been one of those days. Not really. Not for me. Not for you, maybe. For me, it has. I'm Josh. I'm Nathan. You're watching Arcadeo on YouTube. Last time, uh, Royal decided to tag along again, and he killed our friend the samurai. He did, in a supposedly joking way. Uh, you're watching Iconoclasts. Uh, I, this is Robin. <laughs> She's a girl who has dreams of becoming an operatic singer once day. Once day. <laughs> that's why she doesn't speak. She's trying to save her voice. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. that, that makes sense, yeah. I guess. But, I mean, at the same time, she can't practice her singing. So that's stupid. Mm, does that mean she doesn't eat ice cream? Is ice cream bad for the... The soul? I've heard that ice cream is bad for the vocal cords. Who told you this? I saw it on an app I played. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you just leave that there. Yeah, it's gonna do its flipping <laughs> act. Dang, don't you hate that? Flipping act. Like you've been playing video games all day, and you're like, oh, it's fine. And then right when your friends come over, the the batteries die. <laughs> You're like, crap, man. It's like five of us here. What are we going to do? I mean, you could talk, but gosh knows. Not many people know how to do that. Oh, you wanted. brought them. Oh, look, it's the Stroke of Delight girl. Oh, great. It's Santa Claus. I haven't seen you in a while. Ooh, this cold mountain inspires my culinary happy senses. Does it, though? Hey, I heard our scientist at one concern HQ doused evil thought through distractions. I don't even know what that means. Ha! Perhaps with some super nice ice cream, I could do the same to people. No, it's bad for my operatic voice. So says an ad that you saw. Not an ad. An app. The app itself yeah, told you that. Yeah, it was part of the story where, like... The evil people were messing over the good people by giving them ice cream so they couldn't sing. So then my main character had to go over and sing. Oh, what are you playing? I'm not admitting that. <laughs> Gosh dang, I feel like you've already admitted too much. It was a fun app. I enjoyed it. Care Bears the game. No. <laughs> oh, no. I had I'm... myself in there. I had you in there. Don't make me give me the ice cream. Ice cream bear. Cream bear. Wait, that is Share Bear. Yeah, okay. That's like the only Care Bear I know. So like every time I'm trying to remember how their <laughs> names work, I'm always like, Share Bear. Funshine. Is that really one of their names? Yeah. Mother of, you are dead to me, son. Yeah, like the only way I know names of Care Bears <laughs> is from that Key and Peel bit. Oh, where they're all sharing it up and bearing it all. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Um... Is it that one? Yeah, okay, that Jeebs one. on the Creebs. Oh, was it supposed to be electric? Because I just happened no, to make it electric. No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, shoot, nothing affects them. Did you try an electric It's probably rocket? electricity. It looks dark over there. It's dark, you know what that means? Time to spin my wrench. Except electricity doesn't work in water. Crumbs. I mean, it's not that dark. You can still see what's going because on. Because of this light, this one singular light. But what am I doing? This is Darlin's house. Yeah, Darlin's descent. Code stuff. red. Better than code green. Look, the pyramid heads. Oh, what? B B Barians. What? This, this is the most horrible tragedy I have ever witnessed. This vessel of divinity. The portal between spirits and humans. You cannot vandalize these. May he, the Star Worm himself, burn whoever did this. Robin, are we just going to ignore the blue thing hanging right above it? Uh, for now. Your mind is probably unable to comprehend the calamity before you. This is a transcender. They are the most beautiful and divine objects granted to us. This sounds creepy. A divine womb destroying one of these is like murdering a parent. Only the lucky young in this world pass the trials and earn the blessing of resting inside. 
And, and they get purple lingerie. It is a bath in the purest ivory lasting many months, but only for the one strong enough to survive it. Uh. If you are not strong enough, the ivory consumes your body and you will perish, but your soul transcends to the afterlife to be the elite among spirits. So a win-win. The ones that remain in the physical realm are destined to further the divine doctrine and right the wrongs in the world. Sometimes... The next true leader of humans, the medium which speaks for the humans to him, the Almighty, is chosen. That's me. I have... I'm a woman. Oh, huh? These are extraordinary people that become one with ivory, completely earning the power to control the planet itself. I am that. I am to lead all of humanity after the dark day where Mother leaves the physical world and my power has developed fully. But there's another outcome. A dark outcome. Maybe that was... Maybe that's Mother? I still think that's actually Black. Oh. Uh, <laughs> some people fuse with the ivory, but aren't chosen for equal purpose, as they do not flawlessly fuse. They are the divine gods protecting the faith of the people, for they prove strong and almost as impenetrable as Mother or myself. He, the Almighty, blesses these guardians, too, by letting the ivory strip away only the parts that are meant for greater things, and he leaves the person with us. But they're like, oh, God, oh, oh. And that's why her arms are... Oh. They are warriors, the upholders of law and order. She took that pretty well. She's like, I guess I don't have arms anymore. Oh, poor girl. Their ivory blood embraces our divine technology. Technology which he gave us, which a normal body would reject. Like these metal arms. With the blessing of that power, they will protect the people from detractors. And their divinity will be celebrated for many days, as they will live for hundreds of years like their mothers and fathers. It is a wonderful gift given to only a chosen few. What is that guy doing? <laughs> He's happy. Oh, these halls are those of magic and wonder, Robin. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know. Wow, we're only figuring this out now? What do we think? What do you think? I mean, <laughs> they're skeletons, so it's hard to say that's beautiful. Did you like just how do you choose these people who become infused with the ivory and none of them seem happy? I'm going to say it's not beautiful, because mm. I'm an iconoclast. <laughs> you just can't comprehend it. It's all right. I hope these bones are of those that destroy this transcender. <laughs> That's a good question. Who would have destroyed it, then? Non-believers. People who could not comprehend the divinity. The splendor. The awe and wonder. So then Chrome lost his legs. Uh, there was nothing to further write? Chrome lost his legs, black lost her arms, white lost his eyes. Ah. Is that really it? Those are the gray... Oh, well, there's Agent Gray that they hint about, which I don't know who the heck that is. Yeah. Because all of them have, like, that muddy gray hair, right? Whereas... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Now Royal's the it. only one who has the white hair like Mother. He's the only one who passed the test and was like... Deified. Mm. Where are we going? All the way back down. Oh. Hey, honey, can y'all break these things for me? Woo! Whoa. My gosh, it's just started a chain reaction. Haragadaga. I would like to go this way, please. I would like a vowel. <laughs> I don't know why, he just seems like that guy who goes over and goes boom and hits like the number on Isn't the thing. Isn't that usually a woman? Yeah, but dude, it shouldn't be. I mean, we have no proof that this is dude, a woman. Dude, break it already! Now kill yourself. Go kill yourself. Oh shoot, I'ma die. Oh. Kill yourself, cool. But no health. No. But but I, I feel good, that's the first time I've ever used that that uh, the famous line in the interwebs. Which one? KYS, dude. Oh. Kill yourself. Yeah, that that's true. What a cruel thing to say. Hey, look who it is. Oh, yeah, he's counting latitudes now. <laughs> Mountain. 
scares me. Where's po po Pola? Where's Pola? That's he definitely looking, Marco. And it's, he looking for a polar bear. He's looking for a polar bear. Yeah, he's looking for his friend Pola, who's bear. Who's a bear? <laughs> yeah, his sure. friend Pola is a bear. Oh, oh, oh! No, you I need, need a, a key. key. Hey! Dang! Beauty Falls, dude. Beauty. That sounds like a really nice place to go on vacation. Beauty Falls? Be no, Beauty Falls. Like that waterfalls. That sounds like an omen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like the descending of a goddess or something. And when 60 hits, Beauty Falls. Now it sounds like a... like a cologne or something. Can't find Vaughn. Captain's so angry. Captain's still alive? I guess so. What happened to him? I don't remember anything, His ship dude. is alleged sideways on the mountain. Yeah, but they survived. So, obviously the captain has to have survived. Nah, captain first goes down with his ship. But his ship was beached. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, after a while you get bored and you just leave the, the beached ship. Okay, I'm going. You ready for this? Duck so my head don't get squished. Squished by what? That didn't work. <laughs> ah. Oh, on Fontenskazen. You go and then this you way. You drop that down there. Well, I'm going this way because I'm stuck. Oh, you can't get back up? And then I do this, and then I climb up, and I'm like, ah, this isn't correct. He mm. goes down there. Oh, down here? Yeah. Really? So that eventually he will shock and get up there. And if not, we totally hammed it up. And now you electrocute. You go down. Oh, and then I hang left. Yes. I hang left so hard. No, I don't. Now I hang hard left and shock him. And then I do this. And then I go, ho! Oh! That was actually kind of easier than I expected, to be honest. It's incredible, dude. I just got to find the key. Where are we? I don't know. This is the place where maybe Father rebelled. He's like, we shouldn't be doing this to the youth of our nation. Hey, look who it is. Like Old Irish. man, what are you doing down here? If my eyes do not deceive me, you are that infamous icy boat, Captain Myron, or Easy. I do not have time to spare. I would urge you to trot away like the truly lopsided steed that you are, white one. How dare you, sir? You are hereby arrested on account for being wanted at the highest level, on orders from mother, and for being rude to me. <laughs> a mother has no children to mind, not laws. Wait, a mother has <laughs> children to mind, not laws. You are being so disrespectful. I've come here to face my true bat noir, boy, Ooh. that which obstructs my buon. <laughs> I spotted <laughs> I spotted a monstrous being dwelling below these spines. I cannot fathom what purpose a thing would solve. But while I wanted to try to stop the prankster of that which ruins my charted land, I was thrust from the waters to the mountain basins and settled here. Oh, damn. There's nothing like that in this world, you fool. I'm a flat earther. I believe the world is fat. I mean, flat. <laughs> I pity you coming here when you did, as there is no way safe downward or <laughs> upward. This mountain since the monster had its way. Point me into the location of this monster. I would have the powers needed to destroy whatever this creature actually is. Wow, he just believes us now. The magician is fooled by his own tricks, it seems. They are not tricks. Go ahead, boy of white, white boy. If you <laughs> fail, I will be rid of you. And the key pitfall behind you as well. You can probably guess where the other key leads. As you both perish, you will likely bear witness to the negligible nature of your lives on this planet. Ooh. It's a planet without permanence. This is no place for monumental history like those tall tales in the Perseides. You believe that you're making a map of the planet? Then who is the fool? What? My power will show you the strength of this faith. Does that include executing me later on? Then it's a ritual, not execution. Give me the key. I'm leaving. <laughs> that got... 
kind of weirdly heated. I I don't even know what happened, dude. There's a beast in the planet. The worm. No, the star worm. No, he's flying in the air, in the sky. <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous and amazing. At the we same saw time. images of that in we the. We did, tower. and I was like, "It's a worm," and you were like, "Nah, man, yeah. <laughs> that ain't no worm." But what's living in this planet, though? That's what I really want to know. We're going to find out if we go down here. Oh, but we're going to have to do that next time. We're uh, out of time for today. Haba shaba. Join us then. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. All the stuff you do to help us continue on through cold mountains and weird underground systems. I don't even know who built this place. Join us next time where we continue di deeper down into the Darlin' Descent. Oh my. It's Ascent, but oh. Descent sounded cooler. Well, now we're descending the yes. Darlin'. Yes, we are. Moral of the story is when having an argument, try your hardest to keep it from being heated. Watch this. A nice cool argument. Mm. Frosty. Frosty. The snowmall.